Regardless of whether you're considering watchmaking as a hobby or full-time profession, getting into it starts with a selection and acquisition of high-grade watchmaking tools. Today I'm recommending 10 that I use on my bench every day and that will get you into hobby or profession fastest way possible. Tool number one, watchmaker's loop. A watchmaker's loop comes in a range of magnifications, but whether you're professional or amateur, you really need just two. A loop number three, which is your mid-range working loop, and loop number one, which is your high magnification inspection loop. Tool number two, set of watchmaking screwdrivers. Absolutely essential tool, and there is only one rule. Go for the best set you can afford. Don't buy individual screwdrivers. A set of six or eight screwdrivers is as your starting point. Or, if you want to invest more, go for a version set that comes with the blades and beautiful wooden box. Tool number three, screwdriver sharpener. There is only one screwdriver sharpener on the market that I would recommend and it's a Swiss made Bergeon number 2461. Don't settle for cheap Chinese, they don't work. Tool number four, screwdriver sharpening board, which consists of acrylic board with various grades of self-adhesive emery paper. In the next video I'll show you how to sharpen your screwdrivers. Tool number five, watchmaker's tweezers. With hundreds of different shape and sizes, selecting the right tweezers could be a challenge even for a professional. My recommendation is to start with a trustworthy and proven AF number 27 or Dumont number 3, both ideal for daily work. Of course, if money is not an issue, get yourself a Dumont set of 5 or Bergeon big box. Tool number 6. Bergeon hand removal tool, a tool number 30636-1. It's a Swiss made quality hand removal tool and there is no substitute for it so don't even consider a cheap Chinese replica. Tool number seven, the movement holder. Like all other watchmakers tool they come in different sizes and shapes but the industry standard and my recommendation is Bergeon 4040. Tool number eight, a Rodico. What in the world is a Rodico? It's a Bergeron 6033-1 cleaning product, uh, which watchmakers use to remove fingerprints and clean watch parts, but also to pick up a thin components. Absolutely priceless. Tool number nine, the rubber dust blower. My recommendation, AF Switzerland number 18666. Tool number 10, watchmaker's hand pin vise. A pin vises are ancient tools and in watchmaking they come in various shapes and sizes. My recommendation is to start with a mid-range one and then build your collection from there. So the question is where do you get your tools from? From eBay or authorized tool dealer? Of course, the authorized tool dealer is your place to shop for the quality Swiss tools. If you need any help selecting the tools, or if you need any of those tools that I mentioned today, send me an email to nick at clockmaker.com.au. Our next video is about sharpening screwdrivers, how to shape and sharpen your screwdrivers. And you don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe.